How much longer do you think we can pull this off for? Two days, because <laughs> that, that's what we got. The amount of work that has gotten done in 12 days is pretty insane. How can they not love like it's so, it's literally, I think it's one of my favorites. It's so insane. Okay, I did not even imagine that. You guys are from another world. Yesterday was kind of crazy. They said if you don't like the weather in Idaho, wait five minutes, and that's exactly what happened. Despite the weather, we still got a bunch done. We got this waterfall built, which I can't wait to see. Water's gonna do all kinds of fun things, and it's a tiny waterfall, pushing 12 to 14 inches at the max in height. But between little tributaries like this, little ones coming in through here, this cool, unique rock with all the little bowls and things that mother nature has done to it over time this one through here then coming over this one again uh, it should just look really really cool ed the pond professor will be so proud fluvial fan <laughs> just kind of a big washout i've been wanting to do stuff like this for a while uh, typically our edges always look like this and if we study streams in nature that rock and gravel usually comes out so much further so we've really been playing around with it a lot. But we're gonna continue down. We got pretty far. We did, I don't know, 30 feet of stream. We have 50 to go today to get to the pit, our reservoir down here. So our goal today is to get all of this done from these rocks into our deeper pool all the way to this area here. If we can get all of that done, I think effortlessly tomorrow, we should be able to button up everything on top of the reservoir. An enormous amount of work in a very short amount of time. So we'll see how today goes. Usually good weather brings on a pretty positive attitude. Yesterday we were flying up until that weather came, like just flying. And then that weather just, uh, just a buzzkill. So we'll see how today goes. And, uh, but I'm super optimistic because we have to be, we have to get pretty far. How much longer do you think we can pull this off for? Um, I feel old as hell. <laughs> two days, because <laughs> that, that's what we got. We 100% are gonna get the rest of the boulder work done today down into the reservoir. It's funny, because I was thinking the exact same thing. I came out here this morning, I yeah. was like, we don't have a waterfall to build. We just have to do boulders along the edges here. We've got them all staged, ready yeah. to go. Yeah, but the only thing we have left to do tomorrow is just the stuff on the reservoir. We finished We're up. good. And all the tedious stuff is done. Like. And we were talking about it last night, like, thank God the plumbing's done. Like, yeah. it's just hooking up the pumps and the check valves and all that stuff takes so much time. All the lights up there are done. We have the chases run for all the lights on this side, so those should go in pretty fast. I think we're, we're all right, as long as we don't get, like, the weather we had yesterday. <laughs> we were, <laughs> end of the day, <clears throat> we were talking about how pompous it was of us to think that 12 days was going to be no big deal for this. <laughs> Remember when we looked at this? We're we like, look at the dry oh, like, yeah, oh, one days. day here, two yeah. days here. <laughs> But I, I absolutely love the way it's turning out. Uh, I feel so bad for Christine Cole and yesterday up there, yesterday fighting oh. those trees with the wind, but they got them in. And what a difference, right? Just having those couple evergreens up there, how it kind of sets the backdrop. This is definitely one of my favorite projects. For the, I mean, it's, I'm not gonna say it's a small project, it's 185 feet, It's right? not small, don't it's not small. Way it's small. <laughs> but, but like, we've done some large things in the past. Yeah. And for how detailed everything is, like in such a small space up in there, um, I think their boulder selection is probably my favorite of all times. Yeah. I just love the stuff with all the lichens on it. And there's so much of it that it, you know, everywhere you look, there's there's character in the boulders. It's the composition with the way it's uh, got the patio poured around the boulders. Characters in the boulders, character in the stream, character like by the bridges, the stepping stones, the stair, like there's just every place you look, you discover something cool.
So it's our last day out here. Um, the amount of work that has gotten done in 12 days is pretty insane. 185 foot stream where we should, we should finish today. Um, we made awesome progress yesterday. Uh, we're at just before the, the reservoir down there, the 8,000 gallon reservoir, so we have to button that up. Uh, we have one small little 13 inch high waterfall to build and, um, and then some edging lights. And I don't know, it looks like maybe 40 feet of stream left to do. So wish us luck. Here's what we did yesterday. So this rock was set yesterday. We worked everything from here down. We got this cool log put back in here. Uh, lots and lots of birds and stuff around here. We're gonna get some evergreens and stuff. You can see that the stream is actually being washed down right now. And what's really cool is that the water level in the stream is basically flat. There's not much grade change to it at all. So right now with just the water in here, you can see the water level here, backs all the way up in through here. And it'll clearly get, it'll probably get about three inches higher than that just because of the pressure of four pumps. But it gives you kind of a clear idea of how deep this is gonna be. And then we did this really cool kind of deep pool through a stream just like you would see in nature. So everything's not the same depth all the way around. It drops down kind of deep in there. We've got some big, big boulders. You can see Christy is looking on, uh, working on cleaning this all out for us. So we got that done and then uh, some of these rocks put in. Uh, this one was actually huge and we had to bury it. You can see it's kind of down with some gravel there. And then we put this rock and it really just looks like it's kind of an extension. We're gonna come back in, kind of twist and turn some things in through here and uh, get to work. We've got an 8,000 gallon reservoir and we don't need to use all this surface area to build our stream that's going into it. So we want to bring the sides in. Right now this area I'm standing on has aqua blocks all the way out to the edge. We first put down a layer of fabric on top of the blocks, then we use about six inches of our three quarter clean stone. And now we've got another layer of fabric and that's a soil separation fabric. We're going to be dumping soil now to keep the grade, just like you would the edge of a stream bed. We're going to bring the soil right up against the back of the rocks give us an opportunity to plant, bring grass in here, no big trees, but it shrinks the whole thing up. You, when it's finished, you would never know there was 8,000 gallons of water underneath this thing. So, cool. so you can see the, the liner right over here. That's the outline of our tank. And so right now we're literally throwing soil on top of the tank and you can see the fabric holding all that soil from wanting to wash into everything. Everything is looking so awesome. We're doing the final touches. We just finished grading everything out, um, planting a few extra trees here because we have some time to do it. I can't believe the words, we have some time to do it are actually coming out of my mouth. So we actually finished in 12 days. <laughs> we'll, ne we'll never ever bid a project over 12 days. No. This, this size. This should have taken like 20 days. I'm gonna call Cole and tell him to come down to the garage and we're gonna see for the very first time what the Dusnup family thinks of their new water feature. How could they not love it? Like it's, so, it's literally, I think it's one of my favorites. It's so insane. Okay, I did not even imagine that. <laughs> That's really cool. It's a resort in our backyard. You guys are from another world. 
only way you're going to be able to see the full reveal of this project, check out my good friend Jack Harju's channel over at Atlantis Water Gardens. He has actually just started his four part mini series on this entire project. Jack went way more in depth with what we were doing, way more of the techniques, way more of the process of the whole thing. Sorry to do this to you, but it won't be wasted time if you go over to that page. It's so much fun to do this after nearly 30 years. The customers were so awesome to do it with some of your best friends in the entire world through some of the hardest conditions. And they say those hard conditions will only make it that much more memorable. And so it will be memorable that wind, the heat, <laughs> um, the massive rocks, picking them from the job site. It was just an awesome experience. I hope you guys enjoyed the experience as much as we did building the thing. All right, guys, have a great one. You know what to do, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for your patience and uh, have a great day.